Morning, friends. Well, it was a crazy day with the rain yesterday. It rained quite a bit, but it really did my gardens good. Check this out. Everything's looking really good. This is a volunteer uh, tomato plant. Mm, pretty cool, huh? And of course, my lettuce and stuff. That's, oh, that's a weed. What old want that growing in there. I've got to plant some more stuff in here. Some of my stuff is still growing. That's a lettuce over there, too. And the onions never did do very good. But, oh well. I am really tickled that these have not died. I just stuck those down in there, and they're, they're still hanging in there. They're still green. This is that uh, <coughs> sorry that uh, rose plant and then in, in that gorgeous rose so the other day I pulled up all these and um, I did take some of the uh, suckers off and planted them to see whether they would root or not but i've got little teeny uh i mean uh, tomatoes coming up there so they'll be reseeding themselves i left some of the um tomatoes in there so they'll seed out again but and I've still got a few um, bok choy coming up. Crazy enough. If it is, there's one right there, too. I love that bok choy. I'm going to have to plant some more of that. And the um, I don't want to weed that yet because of um, there are some strawberries down in the weeds there that were protected from the sun. I think that these over here that died was because they're in full sun and not strong enough to make it. But as you can tell, the weeds are growing fast because of all this rain. Crazy, huh? Welcome to the jungle, right? <laughs> oh, still more, more uh, flowers. Won't be long. Some of them have, uh, see that one right there? Some of them have become fruit already. I absolutely love these cherries. So I have been working a little bit out here. You can tell where I chop things down. It's so fragrant. These, these, uh, these flowers here. See that flower right there? They're so fragrant and smell so divine. Even though it's still raining, these uh, beans have got tons of aphids. Crazy. So I believe this is the black bean. I believe this one is black. Nope, I'm sorry. This is not the black bean. This is the Christmas lima beans. I'm excited to see that. So I will take those off and harvest those. It's starting to rain again. That's my beautiful, beautiful chicken. I don't know if that's a rooster. I think it is. Or um, just a hen. <laughs> but that's the one I was telling my girlfriend about. And she or he gorgeous. I love the markings. Little silky devils. I don't know where they were yesterday. I couldn't find them anywhere. Don't know where they went. Anyways, I want to show you all these beautiful beautiful fruit up underneath here you can't see them from the outside 
But check this out. Oh, all of these fruit growing like crazy. Growing like crazy. doing their thing they sure have got this place tore up with all this rain they just dig 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 I've got to rake it out again <laughs> oh and you're gonna peck my foot this one's pretty too I like the the gold on around its neck and then the speckled feathers that's so cool I love my chickens this one's kind of cool too. <laughs> I don't know what she's a mix of. Looks like she might have some, uh, some, um, I don't know. <laughs> Her neck looks more like a uh, Americana, and the rest of her looks like uh, a cross between a. Uh, Buff Worthington and uh, Bard Rock. So you never know. She might be a mixture of all kind of stuff. That's one of them I got from Miss Linda that I hatched out. Along with that one right there. I love these chicks. That one too. I just love that little splash of black here and there. That's so cool. And that silky right there, she's been broody. Crazy mama. This one, I swear, I think it's a rooster. But isn't it, isn't it gorgeous? I just love its colors. And my poor little uh, Polish hen. She is like <laughs> all parted because of being wet. Her little feathers are parted. She got a weird throw, huh? I think I'll get me some... Uh, whoop, I knocked one down. Some, uh... Miracle fruit before I head into the house to make me some breakfast. Now, y'all remember the other day those were just little teeny fruit last week. Look how big they've gotten already. And they're all over. All over that tree. Isn't that beautiful? Tons of fruit all over it. I am so looking forward to all that fruit. It is all, some of them are big and some of them are little, but it's still blooming everywhere. Pretty cool. And look at these heifers. Yep. I'm going to have to cut their wings again. They just got it in their mind that they're going to get out. So they get out. Look how beautiful these papayas are growing. sure but one of these are black beans this one might be it I don't remember I don't remember where I plant nothing but look at where they've dug up I hope they didn't don't tear up my asparagus growing there and I got asparagus growing here too that I hope they don't mess up I did cut back this side of the uh, um, comfrey. I need to cut it way back though. And I'm, I'd like to dig some of it up without tearing up that uh, roots to the peach tree. 
but we'll see. Look at there, isn't that beautiful? It'll be a while though before it's it's ripe and ready to be eaten. I uh, I cut these limbs when they're like this, and plus it's in the in the uh, walkway, so. When I come back through, I'll snip that with the snippers. And I leave it with the, just a little bit of tail on it like that. I don't know. It's weird. But that's the way I like it. I am going to cut this fern um, asparagus back. I was hoping to see whether it would seed. But it hasn't. And it's starting to turn yellow. So um, And we'll put that back up in here like so and see if it'll grow up there like that well maybe through that one and back around there and weave it around <laughs> I still can't get anything to grow in these things I don't know it's really strange I guess they dry out too much but it's nice that I'm getting some more um, um, zinnias coming up in here. Looking good. Get rid of that. That stinking stink weed is all over the place. Got a little zinnia coming up here in the in the ground. I have to dig that up and put it up in there. I did have tomatoes all throughout there, but they died. And uh, that's a weed. This one right here. I gotta pull that out. Anyways. I'm hoping to get some seed from my lettuce over there. We'll see. I have got some tomato seeds. See the tomatoes? They came up in here. Those were just dropped from that tomato plant that was there. So I'm going to take those out and plant them down here. And see if they'll grow because I lost the tomatoes that was in there. There's only one plant left, I think. Oh well. It is what it is. Now this is kind of funny. This tree up front here has very little uh, blooms. It does have some blooms. There was a bee on that. There it is. Looks like a great big uh, bumblebee. But I'm not sure. It might be one of those funny looking black bees. Don't know where they're harvest. Where they're where their home is. And of course we just seen a great big hawk back there. That's not good. But uh, no fruit on this tree up front here yet. Isn't that funny? Same variety. I mean not variety. Same um, star fruit but not the same variety. So it looks like the Swiss chard's getting a little bit bigger. I need to harvest some of that and eat it. But this squash plant's looking really nice. Hope it gets big and has squash. But the other ones didn't make it. I'm gonna try again. Just keep trying till they go through. It's so hot here though. And this is looking so good with all these beautiful little green things. Sprouts on it. So happy that tree made it. And look how gorgeous that spearmint looks. I still think that's a the sunflower, but we'll see. As it gets older. I don't think either one of those are going to make it. They don't look viable anymore. They look dead. <laughs> we'll see. 
also, I want you to look at all the new growth on this. Um, I, I've been calling this a Mexican plum because that's what Rosie called it. But looking at other people's channels, I think it might be one of those hog, uh, hog, um, plums. But I don't know. Anyways, it's got a whole bunch of little growth. Very excited about that. <laughs> Looking forward to the fruit. Maybe it'll fruit next year. Tomato plants are getting uh, big, but looks like they might have some problems. I think this is spider mites. I think. Something's bothering it. Is he yellow? Anyways. It's funny. This one here. Nothing. Nothing wrong with it. But the two on both sides? crazy. Oh, well. And look at here. I gotta kill that joker. Okay, so this is why I wanted to get those into the ground. Look how fast they are growing. Those roselles are just taking off very nicely very happy with the growth on them pretty soon they'll be big enough that they will be flowering can't wait they'll fill that all in and it'll look like a nice little hedge there so we've been picking like crazy pretty much all of this front is picked and you remember how low it was hanging that was because of all the fruit on it see how that's hanging that will pop back up once I get that fruit off there I got to get that off in the next day or two all of it we picked it pretty good though throughout here and I'm gonna go over here and pick a few. To take in with me. Cause I ate those, those delicious. Uh, um, and see this is a little bit green still, which is really good. So it will last, but see how much more I got. It's like, oh my goodness gracious. Will be awesome. Look at that. I'm just like overwhelmed at how beautiful this tree did this year. I'm very, very happy with it. And just a few green ones. Isn't that funny that they're so much far behind the other ones? But that's what happens on this north side of the tree. It doesn't uh, ripen as fast as the other side. <laughs> There's one green one right there. <laughs> but anyways, yep. I'm enjoying these fruit. So check out how big this pot is. Now it's bending over pretty good because of the weight of this. I'm gonna let it grow just a little bit more. That other one that I had taken off had already split. This one's not ready either, but I'm looking forward to uh, taking them off and having some more seed growing. See how much it's bent over? <laughs> it's gigantic. It's very heavy. Even this one, this one's really heavy too. I can't believe how much the tree is bent over from, from these pods. 
but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the tree back again down there and hopefully it will bush out more probably cut it off to about right here so we'll see what it does but look how big this pot is it really needs to come off there I think this one's probably ready but I'm not gonna take it off right now and still I keep finding little bits and pieces of the uh, black sapote they're getting bigger though check that one out See how big it is? It's going to be gigantic. But anyways, there's... Oh, let's see. Bring it back in. See all the fruit there? Amazing. It must be 20 right there. <laughs> I got to get in here and get some weeding done, too, of my... My, um pineapples get all that weeded and I want to put some mulch in there but right now mulch is expensive I don't think these made it that David broke off but this one might still be viable it's, it's still a little bit green but we'll see <sighs> gotta get all the water out of those uh, um Can't think of what that is. Elderberries. Anyways, I've got a ton of work to do, as always. And it's going to rain all day today. Alright, so I'm going to call it a day. Just love walking around, showing y'all things as I go. That's what I love. I just love walking around my yard and eating things and showing things and... Oh, check this out. Look how beautiful that pepper plant is. And it is full blooms. I, I just took all the peppers off of it. I did leave one, and I see that it is gone. So I don't know if somebody got it or if it got knocked off or fell off or what. But I did have one red one on there never know somebody could have taken it but look at Linda's plant I moved it over to here and look how beautiful it is thriving thriving it's doing so good and this is uh, the plant that I got from Miss Lily and it is thriving they like it underneath here I'm thinking about finding some type of hanging basket to hang from up here or over there somewhere in here so that they get good shade and you know this is such a good place for everything to grow it's where all my orchids grow and stuff so Maybe I can find some type of nice thing for it to grow on. Anyways. Well, folks, I'm going to call it a day. This time, really, I'm going to call it a day. You guys have a great day. And I am going to close with showing you how my girlfriend next door says to uh, propagate some coconuts. And I'm hoping that this will work. This is where I catch water. She says float those coconuts when they turn brown like that. Float them in water for a while. And then plant them. So we shall see. Hopefully I'll have two coconut plants. We'll see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Maybe on one of my live streams, Monday at noon and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye now.